Hi guys, uh, I'm Tino. Uh, I'm with Wodemaya and Miss Trudy. Uh, Wodemaya is from Ghana yeah. and Miss Trudy is from Kenya. Uh, they're vloggers, they're famous YouTube vloggers and they travel around Africa just to publicize and advertise Africa because um, they're mainly interested in letting the world know about how Africa is like. So they've just visited Eswatini. Um, so let me just let them introduce themselves. My name is Wadamaya, I'm from Ghana, yeah, the one and only annoying YouTuber in Africa. My name is Trudy, I am Kenyan born in Africa. Wow. That's nice, that's nice. So uh, guys, uh, I'm really glad to meet you. Um, I watch your videos, oh, okay. I've, been, yeah, I've been watching your videos for over a year before I came here. Yeah. So I just want to know what is, it is like being a famous African explorer. Or vlog? Um, uh, it, everything has the good and the bad side. Uh, like, the good side is that you're living your dream and you feel like, you know, you're changing people's lives. Uh, that's like a big deal, especially for him, man. Like, when you walk somewhere and you meet people and they say, Oh, we love you, watch your videos, we appreciate what you do, or you inspired me to do YouTube as well. Uh, that's a big deal, you know. Uh, for me, the most important thing is spreading the word about Africa, changing the narratives about Africa, letting the world know that Africa is not what they think. Or maybe uh, people assume that this country is that, even though you've never been there. So like we have so many negatives out there about Africa. So our videos are just trying to change this whole narratives about negative perception of Africa and then yeah but being a uh, I don't think I'm a famous YouTuber I just think that I'm just doing my thing and enjoy what I do that's the most important thing that's interesting so how did the journey start um what made you want to ex you know explore for me it was finding my purpose and being the truest and highest version of myself because I know everyone has their own mission on earth and I just felt like mine cannot be just getting born, going to school, getting married, having kids and dying. Like it has, there has to be more to life. So I decided to follow a different route and explore and see what life has to offer. And I found myself here and so far I'm loving it because I feel like I'm spreading a positive message, you know, about my continent, about being black. It makes me feel proud uh, of myself and everything about Africa. So guys, um, how many countries have you been to uh, so far? 16 now, and um, I think um, so far so good. We hope we can finish all the countries this year. I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try our best. So it's, it's actually your first time being in the Southern African region? No. Yeah. Southern Africa? Well, region, yeah. Southern Africa is first time. That was in South Africa. South Africa? And now no, it's... Zambia. Zambia. Oh, <laughs> wow. See, so I forgot Zambia. I forgot Zambia because they deported me, so I didn't know. They said I can't enter the country for six months. Anyway, after six months, I'll go back. Oh, okay. So, what do you think about African tourism? African tourism, I say that the African tourism board is not serious. That's it. Why we are not serious? Because we don't see a black man or an African telling the African story as that person being important than a foreigner coming into our various countries to tell the stories for us. Like this is not the first time we've reached out to so many tourism boards on the continent that they decided not to, I mean, support, not even with... A free advertisement? A free, <laughs> not even a free advertisement they don't want. You know, the saddest thing is that he reached out to one of the People in this country and they say they are not of the country, they're in Morocco. Then we make yeah, him at the mall. Mozambique. <laughs> then we make him at the mall. You see, they, they, they don't value Africans. And um, yeah, I feel like the African tourism is not serious for real. So, um, what are some of the challenges you face while exploring? Like, um... self hate. Self hate in Africa is way too much. Like in terms of people accepting you that hey, I'm an African born in Ghana, so definitely when I come to 
Swaziland, I'm not a foreigner. I've met people in here who are speaking their language to me, thinking that I'm from this country. I don't understand. You see, we, we don't even know the differences. We, we just want people. But sometimes when you go to certain countries, you get arrested, you get deported, they tell you go back to your country, they tell you we don't want West Africans here, you get denied from entering the country because of the passport you are holding. We are not united in Africa. I understand, I really understand you. But you know, I just wish that we could see each other as well. Exactly, there's no difference. You know, anyone, like I said, I'm going to say it here again. Anyone who calls an African, who finds himself in another African country, anyone who calls that person a foreigner is very stupid. I understand, I understand. Because we want people. Exactly. We just defined by borders. Exactly. You know, when I went to, what's the name, uh, the birthplace of the mining site, the guy said that before Swaziland, there was no border between Swaziland and then. It extended to ex the it has, there's no border between South Africa and Swaziland. The colonialists but came in and decided, decided to divide the divide countries. Yeah. You guys, you go to South Africa, you can't even understand the language they're speaking. Who shows that I'm a foreigner in Swaziland? If you ever call any brother from another African country, in your country as a foreigner, you're very stupid. Thank you. So, um, is climate change a big issue um, after exploring so many countries in Africa? Oh so yeah, cool. sometimes. <laughs> like, uh, since you came to this country, you've been freezing, especially at night. Like, it's so, 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 so cold, you know? Hey, you have to sleep with a hot water bottle. And then there are countries you go to that are so hot, or oh, they're just hot. Ha! Which country is that? <laughs> Which country? Mombasa, um, Kenya. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> So what advice would you give to people who want to explore Africa? I know some other people are, you know, they don't go out of their comfort zone just to learn about other cultures. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to people who would want to know what's happening? Because I know when you're going back home, actually I don't think you're going back home, you're still going around the world. Yeah. But I believe that you learn something. It actually takes the good yeah. in every way. I have um, a saying that I normally say in most of my videos, like, go, go out, out there, there, go live your life. life, go learn something new, and make sure you explore. You understand? When you're exploring, you learn so many things. Like, you don't have to even, I don't even have to take a book and read to know about Swaziland, because I've been there. And uh, whenever you travel, you get to know so many things. It's like a walking book. Ask me about South Africa and I'll tell you, even though I spent like two weeks in the country. Ask me about Nigeria, I'm going to tell you, even though I spent one month there. So I'm going to encourage more people out there, especially young Africans. Don't think that traveling takes a lot of money. Can, you can travel on a budget. There are so many white people here who are traveling. Backpackers. Like, Backpackers. Mm -hmm. But Africans sometimes you want to travel, you want to live in you know, a luxury kind of life and they say that traveling is expensive. It's not expensive. Travel, live um, low budgets and trust me, you, you'll be like an encyclopedia after you finish all your journeys around the world. No, oh, that's great, that's great. Um, I'm happy to see you guys. Same here, and uh, for I would like people to follow your pages, your YouTube channel. This Miss Trudy. It's yes. the same on that's your Instagram handle as well. Yes, um, Instagram is Miss with one S, but YouTube is Miss Trudy with two S's. And what am I? Uh? Yeah, what am I? Uh, w O D E M A Y A. Follow me on YouTube, subscribe, and you. Instagram is Mr. Ghana, baby. Sorry, Mr. Ghana. Mr. Ghana. Baby, that's it. That's, that's it for today, guys. Um, as you heard it from the horse's mouth, you know, the experts in traveling, feel free, you know, you should just learn to explore. You may never know there's gold at the other side. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.